Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. This is how you tweet me, this is where I live, and welcome to the first now series of the Keep It Simply SQL, in this case on analytics, using the KISS principle to make ourselves more productive. We're gonna have short, fast two minute sessions solving real problems, not just talking about the analytics syntax because for a start that's boring, and the other thing is the syntax is really trivial for analytics. This is pretty much all of it. We have a function, we have the keyword over, and then we have three clauses, partitioning, sorting, and windowing, and we'll cover those off today pretty quickly. This session, we're gonna solve the problem of ranking rows. And this is the kind of thing that happens. Someone phones up, typically your boss, and says, I have the following requirement. I need the sequence in which everyone joined the company. And of course, because they're your boss, they're gonna say, and I need it ASAP. So let's look at some sample data. Here's a query of my employees table. There's 14 rows, it's nice and simple. Using the hire date, i.e. when they join the company, we want to build a new column called the hire sequence. And that value is based on when they join the company. So for example, Smith, who happens to be the first row, also has, happens to be joined the first in, in December 1980. But Adams, the third row there, well he joined in, 19, in January 1983, so he was hired last. We want to assign a number in the order in which everyone joined the company. Now, you don't have to use analytics for this. You can just use plain old simple SQL, but as you can see, that's not so much fun to maintain and even probably harder to understand. We don't really want to be doing that. What's the KISS principle about? Well, it's about making SQL simple to understand. So let's KISS and make it better with analytics. Here's our analytic template. What are we doing? The first thing we're doing is we're going to rank the rows. So that's going to be our function. We're going to be doing a rank on them. Then we have our three clauses. The partitioning clause is only relevant if we're carving the data up in some way. So for example, if I was breaking it up into everyone's job category, like analyst or clerk or manager, I might need the partition clause. We're not doing that today. We're ranking across the whole table, so we won't need a partitioning clause at all. The sorting clause defines how we're going to rank the employees. Now in our case, we're ranking them based on when they join the company. It's the hire date that defines whether someone was ranked first or ranked last. So in our case, our sorting clause is order by hire date. That's when we're going to be ranking them. The final one is the windowing clause. The windowing clause is as I'm scanning through my table and I'm on a particular row, do I need to include information from rows that might be surrounding that particular row? In this case, we're not doing any of that. We'll talk about windowing clauses in future videos. So once again, we don't need that either. So there's our result, rank over order by hire date. Let's insert that into our query. And there we go. There's our hire sequence number as we wanted. And the problem is solved with a very, very simple analytic function. You can run this demo by yourself or even explore and experiment with it. Just click on the link you can see on your screen there and that'll take you over to Oracle's live SQL and you can play with the example there with the same sample data. The next video session we'll do, we'll look at the different kind of ranking schemes you can have, not just the rank function. But thanks for watching and don't forget, keep it simple with SQL. See you again soon.